On the streets of Caracas, one of Venezuela's political opposition is taken down by a water cannon. It happened during the wave of anti-government demonstrations in April and May of 2017. And these are militarized police vehicles designed to break up protests. They're part of a so-called anti-riot system built by a Chinese company that's willing to do business with rogue regimes. Attendees got an up-close look at this military-grade equipment in November at Millipol Paris, the world's largest internal security expo. The new system is marketed as state-of-the-art policing technology, but experts say it takes crowd control to a dangerous new level. First, we'll look at how it works, then we'll explain what makes it so effective and potentially deadly. Trucks and armored vehicles block off a street during a protest. A rear command and control truck instructs other vehicles to fire water cannons from behind the barrier. These cannons can also spray CS, or liquid tear gas, and other chemicals. Tear gas grenades, a disorienting laser, and a high-frequency sound wave can also be used as weapons to disperse people. Why is the system dangerous? Arms researchers we spoke to explained. First, the barrier. It obscures the sightline of police officers firing water cannons and can potentially block escape routes. This increases the risk of injury. Firing from behind a barrier or wall can really lead to disproportionate and indiscriminate um, weapons use. Next, the liquid tear gas, which can be added to the water. A lever inside the vehicle allows individual police officers to decide how much is sprayed. These liquid chemicals are largely unregulated, and manufacturers can sell a range of potencies. Some of the anti-riot vehicles are also equipped with tear gas grenade launchers. Firing tear gas canisters directly into crowds essentially turns them into missiles. Tear gas is intended to be lobbed, not fired, into open space to disperse crowds. Then there are audio and visual weapons. The combined effect is a potential assault on the eyes, ears, and breathing, something that experts say could create stampedes and lead to more injuries and deaths. Using all these weapons at the same time uh, doesn't necessarily make them more effective. It can make them more dangerous. So who makes this system? It's a Beijing-based state-owned company called Norinco, and it's one of China's largest producers of military equipment. It adapts military products for use by civilian police forces and sells them internationally. Sometimes in arms for minerals deals with countries like Zimbabwe and the Democratic Republic of Congo and often to repressive regimes embargoed by Western countries, like Venezuela. Norinko did not comment on our findings, but this design is reflective of the hardball tactics that China takes against dissent. There appears to be growing interest in integrated systems like this among police forces looking to clamp down on protests. And without any effective regulation on riot control, it's the best system money can buy.